Hey everybody. I'm going to do a review on, let's see if I can get to where you can see this. This right here. I no, can't really make it up, can you? Alright, so it says AFCO, AFCO, Aquarium Fish Tank, Guppy Double Breeding Breeder, Rearing Trap Box Hatchery for Sick and Pregnant or Sick and Pregnancy Fish. Can you at least make the picture out? There it is. See? Picture? Let's see if I can make it bigger. See what it's a picture of? Two male betas with a divider in the middle and the breeder box as they say. Let's see if there's other pictures. Okay. Suction cups, dividers in the middle, decent sized box looks like. So, you know, something to put fish in and let them uh, let the fry fall down below, but let's go back to that first picture. You know, as a size reference, it says it's big enough to put two betas in. It looks like they got plenty of room to swim around and stuff. You know, if you're using them as a just a holding container, not as a you know permanent housing thing. And it came from China, so it took you know a month to get in. And it said it was three fifty-five, I believe. Free shipping for a breeder box. That's a good deal. And it came in. The box says Trumpet Incubator Hatching Box. And it's Chinese. And then over here it's um really bad English sort of this is used at the top, which they're trying to say how to use it. So number one, hatching. Built-in clapboard to avoid parent fish to eat baby fish. And I'm reading it just the way that it sounds. So hatching, built-in clapboard to avoid parent fish to eat baby fish. Number two, built-in clapboard in order to separate ill fish or different kinds if fish to feed. Number three, ornamental. Take out clapboard. The space will come bigger for ornamental and feeding. Okay. You remember the picture of the... I've lost one of the suction cups. But that doesn't matter. I remember the picture of it with the two male betas in it, keeping it divided. This is what came in. I'm going to show you the size of the box reference. Yeah, this is it. It took up the, the whole box. Um, next to my hands, as you can see, the lid opens. The divider for the bottom. Let the fry go in. It's got slits on the side here, the side here. These are designed if you want it to float, to hold air up under it. And it's got notches in the back here for the suction cups. I've already lost one of the suction cups somewhere, probably in the floor or something. There is no center divider. And at best, 
taking this piece out because I wouldn't want to put anything in there with that in there because it will only be uh, an inch and a half deep water. If I take that out, I could probably put one mill bait in there, not two. So what I got is definitely not, not what was advertised. So I do not suggest this item to anyone because even as a breeder box it is very subpar. Um, with this particular one which apparently is cracked. I did not realize it was cracked till now. Um, with this particular one, I may still find a use for it to hold a single specimen of a small fish temporarily while I inspect it for something. But otherwise I don't. Um, I don't recommend it for anything. And the only reason I would use it for uh, the holding the single specimen as I inspect it for something is because I have it now. And uh, I'm going to find something to do with it. So that's that. And uh, I guess that's it. So until next time, if you're watching this and you enjoy seeing product reviews, uh, hit the subscribe button over there. Hit the like button if you liked it, thumbs down button if you didn't like what I had to say. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this and you've hit the subscribe button, you can hit the little notification bell and it'll tell you when I've uploaded stuff. And leave comments of what you think down below and we'll see you next time. Later.